It's a history lesson today on Brumatures, and we're talking about current war. So, Matt, current war is an imperial currant stout brewed with violets, black currants, then aged in bourbon barrels with Tahitian vanilla. Matt, what is a currant? My understanding. I thought it was like a date. Is that a current? Is what the uh, people over across the pond call a grape? That's the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, uh, 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 I was talking not a about grape, Britain. A raisin. Yeah, so the, the shriveled one. The shriveled one. So when I hear current, I think raisin flavor, which sounds very weird to me in a stout. Stout's already like it could be very nice though. The stout is already, you know, it's like this in your face. Oh yeah. Like strong and add yeah. raisin to that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm pessimistic. We'll see. We'll oh see. right, not a good start. This is a collaboration with Homage Brewing. They're well known for their you know stouts and all right sours and this has violets in it. So I wonder if we're gonna get like a lot of floral notes from it. Maybe a little like potpourri nose to it. Um, I love this bottle. We got pink. We've got purple. Love the color choice here. <laughs> All right, we've got the alcoholometer. It's my favorite. Fourteen point five five percent. Whoa. Thank you, sir. May I have another? You trying to get me loose, dude? I'll let the viewers decide. All right. But yeah, what do you think? I mean, beautiful bottle. It's nice. Yeah, I mean, just I recently came out as of the filming of this video. All right. I mean, beautiful is a strong word. Hey, this, I'll is, say this nice. is a strong beer. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess that, that's fair. I'll say nice, though. Why don't you crack it open and stop staring at it? All right. You heard the man. Let's stop talking and get to drinking. We had to ask the audience for a bottle opener, so... woo That fresh hiss. This bottle opener is not great. Look at that. It's just there? flattening out the bottle cap. Get it. Move it over, dude. Move, Move it over? To the side. There Move you go. Move it on over. There you go. All right, there she goes. All right, that's enough of that. All right, let's see. That's the color I was expecting. That looks oh, yeah? like a cup full of raisins. That's what that looks like. You a raisin fan? Uh, well, with there's chocolate on it. So raisinettes. You ever get we those don't the brand name here. You know, if you go to the dollar store, they're not called raisinettes. They're just called chocolate. Hey, but raisinettes, raisins. Nestle, you want to sponsor us? Get, give us a shout out. Yeah, I love that nose. Yeah, strong, stouty smell. I mean, to and by me, stouty, you mean me, there's a heavy chocolate there. There's heavy chocolate and and almost like a liquor. Yeah, you're getting the liquor smell. A little bit of alcohol coming through for you. Yep. Yeah. For me, it's and maybe it's the fact that I'm more used to it, but it's a little bit of that bourbon character coming through. Oh yeah, that could be bourbon. That oak barrel. That oak. It's very nice. It smells. It smells a little sweet to me. Fourteen point five five percent. Not getting any raisin though. And for you, that's a good thing. All right, let's try this. All right. Bottoms up. Hang on. Let me take two of that real quick. That's really nice. That's not bad, but it ain't that good. But that's because I am not a huge stout fan. But to me, this kind of tastes like a lot of other stouts I've had. There's nothing super distinct about it. I don't even taste the raisin. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, there's a raisin. You got a whole raisin? There's some raisin. There's the a whole there. raisin you in the bottom. There's like an aftertaste of raisin, and I'm kind of not digging that. Yeah, that's, that's not... They could have left that out, man. To me, the raisin adds a real nice sweetness in the beginning that I don't get from a lot of other bourbon barrel aged stouts. To me, it stops the alcohol from really hitting me. And then the chocolate comes in. The cacao or whatever they use in here is really, really nice. It's like a raisinette. Nah. But better because it's alcohol. No. I mean, that's what you're getting. Maybe my palate is not as refined as this gentleman here, but. But keep in mind, you also don't like big stouts like this necessarily. Yeah, that's true. You guys probably shouldn't. Even I keep, I keep trying to convert you. 
we'll get there. It's got like that, and also that finish, the sweetness of the raisin is going really well with that vanilla. That's what that I'm getting at the end there, is that vanilla really coming through. I'm just getting that raisin at the end. There's no vanilla in there. Where's the, show me the vanilla. It's right there, dude. Tahitian vanilla. What does Tahitian mean? It's from Tahiti. Maybe Tahitian means it's a vanilla that tastes like raisin. Maybe. But something's telling me you're wrong. All right, all right. Fair this enough. is really, I really enjoy this. We're going to have very different opinions on this. I'm glad one of us. When it comes to the ratings. All right. I'll let you have the honors of rating the stout first. <laughs> well, again, I'm not a stout guy, so maybe my rating's not the fairest. But I'm going to have to give this like a 2.5 out of 5. It's not that good to me. I would not go back for it. The, the other stouts we had before, I've actually liked a little more than this. Yeah, specifically the one that had the cherry in it. That was good. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, take it or leave it. If you're a stout person, you might really like this. If you like the raisin flavor, you might really like this too. I mean, I could see how they put these together to make a good stout. Go ahead. But, yeah, go ahead and take it a little more. I'm just, but I am not a huge fan. And there you go. He took it out. There you go. Look at that. <clears throat> I am really, really enjoying this. Homage Brewing, go ahead and let us know down in the comments below what you added to this. Um, I know it's a collaboration. Um, I will say we are missing the violet. Um, and I don't think even my palate is refined enough to pull violet from this. I'm not getting floral notes from it. But I'm getting really, really nice sweet notes from this. There's yeah. really good almost like a sourness that I would expect from a grape. And there is really nice bourbon character here. Very good vanilla finish to it. I'm really enjoying this beer. As for my rating, I'm gonna give it a 4.75. It's near perfect, but I want the violet. I want a little bit of that floral note in here. And I didn't, yeah, I didn't get any of that. But I think if the violet was there, I might lower the rating because I'm not a big floral, you know, like rose, hips, all that kind of stuff when they put that in beer. Not a big fan. I didn't even get the, the vanilla very much. I just got the raisin. To me, especially Tahitian vanilla sometimes can be a little sweet. Yeah. So I think it's kind of melding with the black currant. Yeah. And you're picking up more on the raisin because your mind you've got raisins on the mind. Raisin in my mind. But to me, it's really at the end when you get that Tahitian vanilla finish. Yeah. It's really nice. I really enjoy it. Like I said, 4.75 for me, it's, it's an A beer. Oh wow. But it's okay. It's okay to differ. Like I said, we're just trying to try a bunch of different beers. This sounded very different and very, dare I say, exotic. Dare he say. Dare I say. But thanks for joining me today. Of course. Thanks for having me on. That does it for today's beer review. If you enjoyed it, like, share, subscribe, find us on Instagram and untapped. And until next time, we're the Brumatures, trying every beer from around the world. One sip at a time. Bless you! Bless you. Oh, no, mommy's way. Do you have something to open it? A uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Maybe it's a twist off. No, they don't. Is it a good bottle opener? They don't do twist off on this you place. You got another twist? It's a history lesson today on Brumatures, and we're talking about current war. That was cheesy as fuck. <laughs>